The extrude feature is one of the most commonly used features when designing parts in 3T. It extends a sketch along a specified direction to create depth. Within OnShape, the extrude feature is versatile and creates a solid part, a surface, or a thin solid. Start a new extrude feature. Select a sketch, a sketch region, sketch entities, or a planar face from either the feature list or graphics area. Once the sketch is selected, specify an end type. The blind end type creates an extrusion up to a specified distance defined in the depth field. Several up to options terminate the feature when it encounters a specific type of geometry you select. Each of these offer an additional offset distance field to create an offset from the entity driving the termination of the feature. Toggle the opposite direction arrow to change the direction of the offset. Through all terminates the feature at the furthest extent of any existing parts or surfaces along the extrusion path. Check the starting offset option to offset the extrude from the sketch or planar face used in the feature. Toggle the opposite direction arrow to change direction. By default, OnShape extrudes the featured normal to the sketch plane. Select the direction option to specify an alternative direction for the extrusion using a sketch line, linear edge, plane, or mate connector. Choosing the symmetric option creates an extrusion that extends symmetrically in either direction about the sketch plane. In this case, the depth specifies the total depth of the extrusion. When you require unique end conditions for either direction, select the second end position option and specify the end type. It contains the same options as the first end position. Select the draft option to apply a specified draft to the extrusion's walls. Toggle the opposite direction arrow to flip the draft's direction. To create an extruded surface, use the same techniques and options as a solid extrusion. The only option unavailable for extruding surfaces is draft. Unlike the solid option, you can create surfaces from open profiles. Select the thin option to create a thin solid. This technique applies a thickness to selected sketch entities. Thin solids also allow the selection of open profiles, Specify a thickness for the thin solid. Enter different values for thickness 1 and thickness 2 to apply varying thicknesses to the inside and outside of the sketch entities. Toggle the flip wall arrow to alternate which side thickness 1 and 2 apply to. Alternatively, create a symmetric thin feature by checking the mid-plane option.